What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel Film Study for Rookies. Today, we're going to break down what exactly Stephon Diggs brings to the Houston Texans. Now, here's the thing with Stephon Diggs. We all know he's a playmaker, but there was a lot of controversy on his last game against the Chiefs in the playoffs. We all remember that infamous drop. But what we're going to do today is we're going to go over most of his touchdowns, and then we're going to go over the Chiefs game and figure out, okay, did he give effort? Did he not give effort? What went wrong? We're going to break all that down, man. Stay tuned. Let's jump into it. So the first play we're going to break down from Stephon Diggs right here is you're going to see this dude never gives up on the play. On top of that, his football IQ, man, is next level. Let's break down what he did right here. So on this play, we see potentially man-to-man -man from the Jets right here. So we have an out route right here, corner route over the top, option route from the running back right there. We got Stephon Diggs on a slant route, and we got Davis right here on a fade. Now, as we let the play develop, you're going to see immediately Josh Allen's looking to the left. See how is the defense playing that. On top of that, he's also trying to get the linebacker right there, trying to get him to bite to the left because Stephon Diggs right here is on a slant route. So if you get this linebacker out of here, hey, easy money, right? But as you're going to see, the DB is kind of playing that. Josh Allen's going to get pressured. He has to roll out. We're going to stop the clip right here. You can see Stephon Diggs right here seeing Josh Allen roll out. So what does Stephon Diggs do? Take a look at him right here. He's going to roll all the way out and then be open. Take a look what happens, right? Sees Josh Allen scrambling, finds a soft spot, catches at that six on the board. Like I said, man, his effort, his motor is next level. Let's check out play number two. The next play we're going to look at, you got Stephon Diggs at the top of your screen. You're going to see him run a choice route right here. Take a look what happens. Sees the mic dropping down, then bang, gets behind him. And once again, that football IQ shows, let's run this back real quick. So as we break this play down, you got Stephon Diggs at the top of your screen. We're going to see him run a choice route right here. Now, here's the thing. With him going to motion, that's going to let him know and Josh Allen know, is it man or zone? Obviously, you can tell there's a good chance it's zone coverage because nobody's chasing Stephon Diggs, right? So what does Stephon Diggs see next? He sees the mic going down. So what's he do? He hits the brakes and then gets behind the mic. And once again, another touchdown. Very, very smart football player. Hits the brakes, bang, gets behind the linebacker right there, and that's six. Let's keep it going. So on this play right here, we're going to see Stephon Diggs do a little out and then turn that thing upfield. Now, you don't see a safety over the top, so you're like, all right, that should be six just on that route alone if he gets separation. We're going to pause it right here. This is where he wants to go out right here and then turn that thing upfield. But watch this safety right here. He's going to drop all the way back. Take a look what happens. All right, Stephon Diggs out, bang, turns it up. Now look at the safety. He's playing that. So what does Stephon Diggs do? He's going to cut that thing short, bam, turns around, breaks the first tackle, breaks the second one right there, and then he's in for six, man. What a great football player. We're not done yet. The next play we're going to look at is probably one of my favorite plays. We're going to see a post corner route from him, and that's just nasty. I mean, that's just nasty right there. There's not a lot to break down here, all right? We're going to let the play develop. We're going to pause it right here. Woo, man, look at that move right there. Acts like he's doing that post route, then bang, turns into a corner. Look at the DB. He bit hard on that. He bit hard on that. And there's Stephon Diggs sitting in the end zone, just waiting for the ball. And here's the thing. As much as I give the DB a hard time, I don't blame him because if Stephon Diggs is running that post route right there, you have to be ready for it. There's no help over the top. So it's just mono e mono right here. So that same thing would actually probably happen to me. But man, that is tough when it's you on film. But that just shows you how good Stefan Diggs is. Let's keep it going. The next thing we're going to look at, you got Stefan Diggs at the top of your screen. Once again, as of right now, there's no safety help over the top. You got a safety here in the middle. But if Stefan Diggs beats this guy early... That's six on the board. Take a look what happens right here. Once again, beats his guy. No help over the top, and he's waiting in the end zone for the ball. Let's run this back. So as you break this play down, like I said before, mono e mono right here. No safety help over the top, as you can see. All the way over here. So watch Stephon Diggs right here. A little double move, acts like he's going in, and then bounces it back out. And then he's just gone at that point. He is just gone. Take a look at that one more time. As you're going to see, man, his footwork is just crazy. On top of that, his football IQ is wild, too. And he's got speed. Man, CJ Stroud is definitely getting a weapon. Let's keep it going. All right, the next play we're going to break down is against the Bengals. Single high safety. So if Josh Allen does a good job holding the safety there, 
Should be easy money. As you're going to see, Josh Allen does exactly that. And once again, Stephon Diggs is in the end zone easily. Let's run this back. So once again, we're going to see a double move from Stephon Diggs. Take a look what happens right here. We're going to rewind it real quick. Take a look. Spotlight effect. Double move to the inside, then bounces it back out. And then he just gets on top of the receiver. And then it's over. That's six on the board. Look at Josh Allen. Got to give him his props too right here. Take a look. He's going to hold the safety. Looks to the left. Comes back to the middle. Then bang. Goes to Stephon Diggs on the right side. Great stuff by everybody. But this is why if you go mono a mono with Stephon Diggs, you're going to have to play five, ten yards off. Give up what's underneath because... If you guess wrong, he's gone. Let's keep it going. All right, guys. So we just went over all of Stephon Diggs' touchdowns. Now we're going to look at his last game as a Buffalo Bill. And honestly, that just seems crazy to say. But here we are. He's now a Houston Texan. Let's jump into this Chiefs game real quick. So the first incompletion we're going to look at right here. This one is interesting. We see the Chiefs sitting in too high, right? Cover two. Now the Bills are going to get the look they want to a point. On this play, I'm kind of putting Stephon Diggs and Josh Allen at fault. We're going to let it develop. We're going to pause it right about here. We've got our hook zone right here, hook zone right there. We've got the mic over here. Since Josh Allen brought the mic over here, Stephon Diggs should be open right there in the middle, right? But as you're going to see, watch the Chiefs linebacker. He's going to play that. He sees Stephon Diggs running behind him. So he's going to come up off that hitch route and then play this. Here's the problem right here. We're going to rewind it. Take a look. Stephon Diggs is actually going to slow down. That's where this problem lies because Josh Allen's expecting him full speed. Stephon Diggs is going to slow down. Stephon Diggs is slowing down because he doesn't want to run into the safety. Unfortunately, that's going to happen either way. So I kind of put them both at fault there. If Josh Allen sees the backer coming off that hitch right there, then bang, just go down to the hitch. But as you're going to see, he's going to try and force it. Almost gets his receiver killed. Now, let's say Stephon Diggs was running full speed. Then you know who knows. I kind of put them both at fault there. Let me know what you guys think. Let's jump to the next one. Next one we're going to look at. They had a triple stack formation. They're going to motion Diggs over. Once again, we see the Chiefs in the two high safeties. And he's going to take that thing for about 11, 12 yards. Let's run this back and figure out why did this work. So most likely it's going to be zone coverage because Stephon Diggs motioned over and nobody followed. Now let's talk about the backer right here. Just like before, we saw the tight end run the hitch route, the backer played it, you know, and you had Stephon Diggs go over the top. The bill is like, okay, bet. We're going to run the hitch route, get the backer to bite, and then bang, get behind him, and that's exactly what they do right there. Great play call, and once again, a great route from Stephon Diggs. Take a look what happens. Bang, acts like he's running the hitch, then boop, slips behind him, man. Great stuff. Let's jump to the next one. The next play we're going to look at is the infamous drop, right? We're going to talk about what happened right here, what went wrong. Let's run this back real quick. So I want you guys to look right here. Josh Allen's going to throw it from the 10-yard line. So at the 50, that's already 40 yards, all right? Let the play develop. Now we're down to the 30. So 40 plus 20 is 60 yards. But look how Stephon Diggs is trying to catch this. Look at his body. He's basically trying to turn around, catch the ball. He sees it going down. And as you're going to see, man, it goes right through his hands, his arms. Here's my thing with this. Stephon Diggs was almost too fast on this play. As you can see, he's almost trying to turn around like a 180, then changes his body. He's like, oh, wait, that ball's going to be in front of me. And then it goes through his hands. It was a great route by Stephon Diggs, but take a look right here. He's already having to slow down. Basically, like I said before, change how he's going to catch this. And unfortunately, man, just goes through his hands. Let's keep it going. All right, guys, right here is our last play. You got Stephon Diggs in the slot. And as you're going to see, man, it just doesn't look like they're on the same page. So we're going to let the play develop. We're going to see what does Josh Allen see right here. So what does Josh Allen see? I'm guessing he thought this DB right here was going to drop back with the tight end. And Bolton was going to pick up Diggs. But let the play develop. As you're going to see, that wasn't the case. Because watch the DB right here. He's going to start watching Josh Allen. And look at him break. The second Stephon Diggs cuts that thing to the outside, this DB is already breaking to that. I'm not sure what Josh Allen was seeing. Maybe he was anticipating, like I said before, the DB dropping back. I'm not sure. 
Either way, not the best throw. Almost a pick six, to be honest. I mean, Stephon Diggs wasn't really even expecting the ball. I think he was shocked Josh Allen threw it. But let me know what you guys think. That's going to wrap it up. I just don't think him and Josh Allen were on the same page. I mean, that's the way it looks to me. Let me know what you guys think, though. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take it easy.